The clock struck 7.30 a.m. at Starbase, Texas. All systems were go for Flight 7's launch. The massive starship stood proudly against the morning sky, ready for its journey. As the countdown reached zero, the engines roared to life, and the world's most powerful rocket began its ascent into the heavens. For two breathtaking minutes, everything seemed perfect. The rocket climbed higher and higher, breaking through the sound barrier, pushing against the dense layers of atmosphere. Engineers at Mission Control watched their displays intently, monitoring every metric, every reading. Then without warning, everything changed. A brilliant flash lit up the sky. The upper stage of Starship had exploded, sending debris raining down over a nearby island. Social media exploded with theories. News outlets rushed to report what they thought had happened. For days, speculation ran wild about the cause. Many pointed to dramatic footage showing what appeared to be the spacecraft's outer layer peeling away during ascent. This must be it, they said. This has to be what caused the explosion. But they were wrong, dead wrong. Today, we're going to reveal what actually caused Flight 7's dramatic end. SpaceX has just released their official investigation findings, and the truth is far more complex and fascinating than anyone initially thought. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for all things SpaceX and Tesla. Let's dive right in. As the dust settled from Flight 7's dramatic end, SpaceX engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, pouring over thousands of data points, frame-by-frame -frame video footage, and recovered debris. What they discovered would change our understanding of what happened that fateful morning. The first revelation came from analyzing the spacecraft's exterior. Two minutes into the flight, cameras caught what appeared to be a dark wave rippling across Starship's surface. Social media erupted with theories. The heat shield is failing, some claimed. Structural integrity breach, others warned. These dramatic interpretations spread like wildfire across the internet but the truth tells a different story. That mysterious wave wasn't a catastrophic failure at all. In fact, it was part of Starship's innovative design. SpaceX engineers had incorporated a revolutionary flexible steel panel system into the spacecraft's exterior. Unlike traditional rigid rocket bodies, these panels were specifically engineered to flex and adapt to the extreme forces of atmospheric flight. Think of it like the scales of a dragon, strong yet fluid, protecting while adapting. Near the location of the waving panel was a small planned opening. This wasn't a design flaw, but rather a forward-thinking feature meant to accommodate future upgrades, specifically the installation of the chopstick catch system. SpaceX had temporarily sealed this opening with a protective cover designed to shield sensitive components during launch. When the rocket hit maximum aerodynamic pressure, this cover flexed exactly as the engineers had anticipated. While it eventually detached, this event had absolutely nothing to do with the mission's ultimate outcome. The real drama was unfolding somewhere else entirely, deep within Starship's engine system. As the rocket pushed through the sound barrier, climbing higher into the thinning atmosphere, a critical component was beginning to fail. A high-pressure valve in the oxygen supply system had developed a malfunction. At first, it was barely noticeable, a small leak releasing precious liquid oxygen into areas where it was never meant to go. But in rocketry, even the smallest deviation can cascade into catastrophe. The leak grew worse with each passing second. Liquid oxygen, kept at temperatures hundreds of degrees below zero, began accumulating in the engine compartment. This super cold oxidizer found itself mixing with the intense heat generated by the Raptor engines. A dangerous combination that would prove fatal to Flight 7. The data tells the story in stark detail. Temperature sensors recorded sudden, erratic spikes. Pressure readings jumped far beyond normal parameters. The flight computer, programmed to monitor thousands of variables simultaneously, detected the anomaly, but by then it was too late. The accumulated oxygen, exposed to extreme heat and mechanical stress, reached its breaking point. The explosion that followed was spectacular but preventable. The investigation revealed that the valve's failure wasn't a random occurrence. It was the result of a specific design limitation that engineers had already been working to improve. This knowledge would prove invaluable for the future of the Starship program. But SpaceX isn't a company that dwells on setbacks. Even as the investigation continued, work was already underway on Flight 8's vehicle, designated S-34. 
This new prototype represents a quantum leap forward in reliability and safety. The S34's development story is fascinating. In Megabay 2, engineers subjected the spacecraft to brutal cryogenic testing, filling its tanks with liquid nitrogen to simulate the harsh conditions of spaceflight. The tanks didn't just survive, they excelled, proving the design's robustness under extreme conditions. The engine system received particular attention. Engineers completely redesigned the troublesome valve system that had failed during Flight 7. The new design incorporates redundant safety features and improved materials that can better withstand the extreme temperature variations of spaceflight. Each Raptor engine underwent extensive static fire testing at McGregor, with special focus on optimizing the critical oxygen to methane ratio that powers these revolutionary engines. But the improvements didn't stop there. The S-34's heat shield has been reinforced with stronger tiles, capable of withstanding even higher temperatures during atmospheric re-entry. The aft flaps, crucial for controlling the spacecraft's descent, have been strengthened to handle greater aerodynamic stress. Even the external panels, yes, those same panels that caused such speculation during Flight 7, have been refined to maintain their innovative flexibility while ensuring rock-solid security during flight. As we look toward Flight 8, the mission profile builds on everything learned from previous launches. The Super Heavy Booster will once again carry Starship to the edge of space, but this time with enhanced monitoring systems tracking every aspect of the separation sequence. The booster itself will attempt something never before achieved, a controlled descent using the newly installed Chopstick Catch system, a feat that could revolutionize rocket reusability. The Starship portion of the mission aims higher than ever before, Depending on regulatory approvals, we might see the first true orbital test flight of the system. The upgraded heat shield will face its ultimate test during re-entry, protecting the spacecraft as it plunges back through the atmosphere at speeds exceeding Mach 25. This mission represents more than just another test flight. It's a testament to SpaceX's philosophy of rapid iteration and fearless innovation. Each setback is treated as a stepping stone toward success each failure as a lesson that brings us closer to the stars. The investigation into Flight 7's failure wasn't just about understanding what went wrong, it was about paving the way for what comes next. The oxygen leak that ended the mission has led to improvements that will make future flights safer and more reliable. The momentary setback has accelerated innovation, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft design. As we stand on the cusp of Flight 8, scheduled for early 2025, the aerospace industry watches with bated breath. The lessons learned from Flight 7 have been transformed into tangible improvements, setting the stage for what could be a historic moment in space exploration. SpaceX's journey reminds us that the path to the stars isn't a straight line. It's a series of bold attempts, careful analyses, and determined steps forward. The story of Flight 7 and its aftermath shows us something crucial about the nature of innovation. Success isn't about avoiding failures, it's about learning from them. Each test flight, whether it ends in triumph or teaches us something unexpected, brings us closer to a future where humanity is truly a spacefaring civilization. The next chapter in Starship's story is about to unfold. As Flight 8 prepares for launch, one thing is crystal clear. Each setback has only made SpaceX stronger, more innovative, and more determined to reach the stars. The oxygen leak that ended Flight 7 led directly to breakthrough improvements in valve design and safety systems. What looked like failure has become a stepping stone to success. Want to stay ahead of every development in this incredible journey? Join our community of space enthusiasts here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that subscribe button to never miss a breakthrough and ring the notification bell to be first to know when history is being made. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on these new safety improvements. We love hearing your insights and predictions. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who need to know the real story behind Flight 7's dramatic end. Together, we're witnessing the birth of a new era in space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you tomorrow's space news today. Picture this scene. On a clear morning in Boca Chica, Texas, 33 Raptor engines roared to life, 
pushing against Earth's mighty grip. For a brief moment, Starship Flight 7 conquers gravity itself, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. But within minutes, the Caribbean skies would witness both triumph and tragedy. Breaking through Earth's gravitational pull is perhaps humanity's greatest engineering challenge. At the heart of this battle lies the rocket engine, a marvel of modern technology that often accounts for over 70% of a rocket's total cost. These aren't just ordinary machines. They're the culmination of decades of innovation, pushing the very limits of materials, science, and engineering. When it comes to Starship's latest flight, those engines played a pivotal role in a story that would unfold dramatically over the Gulf of Mexico. From the record-breaking thrust at liftoff, to the intense moments of hot staging, and finally to the unexpected turn of events that followed, every second reveals crucial lessons about the future of spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we break down the complex world of space exploration into stories that matter. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of Starship's recent flight, examining what the Raptor engines achieved, what went wrong, and what it means for the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. At precisely 8 a.m. local time, the ground at Starbase trembled. As the morning sun cast long shadows across the launch pad, hundreds of SpaceX employees held their breath. Years of their lives, countless sleepless nights, and dreams of reaching Mars had led to this moment. The world watched as 33 Raptor engines ignited simultaneously, their combined force creating a deafening roar that echoed across the Texas coastline. Flight 7 had begun, and with it, humanity's latest attempt to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The initial moments were nothing short of breathtaking. As Booster 14 lifted off the pad, the raw power was palpable, generating more thrust than any rocket in history. The sight brought tears to the eyes of veteran engineers who had spent decades perfecting every component. Each Raptor engine represented thousands of hours of innovation, failure, and ultimate triumph. The ground tracking cameras captured the magnificent spectacle as the massive rocket cleared the tower, its engines working in perfect harmony to break free from Earth's gravitational embrace. In mission control, tension mounted as the flight entered its most critical phase. For three minutes, controllers called out milestone after milestone, each voice steady despite the weight of responsibility. The massive rocket climbed steadily through the morning sky, leaving a trail of exhaust that painted the horizon in brilliant whites and oranges. Every second of powered flight generated invaluable data, data that could one day help humanity establish its first permanent presence on Mars. Then came the moment everyone had been waiting for. At T plus three minutes and 45 seconds, Starship attempted something never before seen in spaceflight, a hot staging separation at hypersonic speeds. The upper stage's engines had to ignite while still attached to the booster, a maneuver so complex that many experts had deemed it impossible. As the engines roared to life, cheers erupted in mission control. For a brief shining moment, it seemed SpaceX had achieved the impossible. But space exploration has always been unforgiving, teaching its lessons through triumph and tragedy alike. By T plus four minutes, the first warning signs appeared on controller screens. A fuel leak had been detected above Starship's methane tank, an anomaly that would quickly escalate into a crisis. Engineers who had celebrated moments before now worked frantically to understand what was happening as telemetry showed increasing pressure in the flap hinge area. The next 40 seconds unfolded like a slow motion nightmare. The leak grew worse and a fire erupted, feeding hungrily on the escaping methane. The flames spread rapidly, threatening the very structural integrity of the spacecraft. In mission control, faces that had beamed with pride moments before now showed grim determination. At T plus four minutes and 10 seconds, they made the hardest decision any space program faces, activating the flight termination system. The Caribbean skies lit up as Starship disintegrated, its debris creating a tragic light show against the morning sky. Yet even in failure, the Raptor engines had written a new chapter in aerospace history. During their brief but powerful performance, they had demonstrated capabilities that would have seemed like science fiction just a decade ago. Each Raptor 2 engine generated up to 230 tons of thrust at sea level using a full flow stage combustion cycle the most efficient rocket engine design ever created. 
To put this in perspective, a single Raptor 2 engine produces more thrust than the entire Apollo lunar module that landed humans on the moon. The journey to creating these remarkable engines reads like an engineering thriller. Years earlier, when SpaceX first announced their plans for the Raptor engine, industry veterans had scoffed. The full-flow stage combustion cycle had never been successfully implemented in a production rocket engine. The Soviets had tried and failed. The Americans had deemed it too complex. But SpaceX's engineers, led by their unwavering vision of Mars colonization, had achieved what many thought impossible. Before Flight 7, 